Oh, I'm super excited about this one. Welcome, guys, to the Definitive Yo-Yo. And today, yeah, we're taking a trip to the mall for this one. Straight to the arcade. Today's Yo-Yo is a pre-release that I was able to score. This is the Yonami Code, the latest release from Rain City Skills. And this is one you definitely want to pay attention to. But first, let's have a look at the colors. So these are all themed against video games, like Animal Crossing. Then we got the Zelda. Coming in hot is the Sonic colorway. Next, we have a Rain City favorite, the Kirby. In a surprise twist, we got the Game Genie. And boy, oh boy, does this bring back memories. Next, we got the Clear Coat Game Over. Very nice. My favorite, however, is the Contra. That faded splash looks so dope. But the idea behind this yo-yo is one that you wish you had when you started out as a beginner. Now, it's a beginner-friendly yo-yo, but it's also ready for the hardest tricks that you'll want to learn. Good looking out, Rain City. In the world of video games, most people associate Konami with the Metal Gear franchise. But before we had that, we had the Konami Code. And although Metal Gear is the most highly regarded game franchise in history, Konami already had a solid reputation in the industry. Before that, they were already a towering presence in the gaming industry, with some breakout hits in every console generation, harkening back all the way to the NES, the original NES in the 80s. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, and a couple of Contra joints. Yeah, what you know about the spread gun? Nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, I know it looks a little dated. You modern kids with your open world, full 3D model, ray trace graphics. What do you guys know about eight colors? Hmm. We was happy to have them. And that was real gameplay back then, Jack. <laughs> What made the Konami code famous was the fact that Konami was notoriously difficult with their gameplay. All their stuff was difficult, so we needed the code to get those extra lives, extra ammo, extra health, and extra anything. And it became an iconic little situation. But now, we're going to transfer into this uh, cheat code of a yo-yo, the Yonami code. Here it is boxed up like either a cartridge or a game system. I'm not exactly sure. Looked like a cartridge to me. Here we have an accessories pack, which we'll look at a little later. But here's the yo-yo. And out of the bag, I immediately feel that grind surface, which is pebble soft. Very nice. And the colors do pop, I must admit. giving you options as a new user. We have a smaller axle. We have an extra bearing to make it responsive. We also have a little maple candy, just in case you didn't know about it. And then you got your accessories like pogs, stickers, and some extra string. Not a nice little delivery package, I must admit. A little surprising also what makes this thing a cheat code is its dimensions. This is a wide yo-yo, similar to the Ouroboros, which I didn't expect. But that width translates to a much easier time hitting your tricks. And it's just a smidge thinner than the Ouroboros, with a nice scallop design. Now check out these specs. Amazingly. All of this is just 48 bucks, and I have to say, it's the best $48 you're going to spend this year. But the Yo-Yo also reminds me of the Omega Glide from a little while ago. It's much wider than the Glide, but it does have that steep descent into the cup like the Glide does. It's not sharp, but it is steep. But in my humble opinion, 
This is way better than the glide was from a little while ago, I have to say. Way, way better. Some standout hits from Rain City Skills includes The Gamer, The Punk, The Metalhead, The Ouroboros, and The Deluge, which honestly exists on another level. But this might be my new favorite yo-yo of all time from them. Let's look at the team because they helped put this thing together. And how does the yo-yo play? Well, DNAs are doable, but you want to get those Lego flat caps, which makes it a lot easier. That's why I'm struggling. <laughs> but overall, the yo-yo play is a little lighter than I expected. It's 62.5 grams. It's just way lighter than I thought it would be. And it has a nice bit of float to it without feeling too 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 light for its size additionally it has fantastic stability and is very responsive plus um, it has solid very solid spin times and that extra little oomph that makes you want to play with it a little longer and stay in its little groove for me it ticks all the boxes and check out this little bonus oh yeah <laughs> because it has that Lego hub in the center, you got those Lego options that you can add, including these light-up Legos, which are sold separately. Out the gate, you should know I'm a man who likes options, and this yo-yo gives me all the options. Beginner-friendly, professionally responsive, fun, floaty, capable. This is my new EDC, and I love it. Even the colorway. I have not a fan of orange, and I'm not a fan of turquoise, but together, for whatever reason, it just somehow clicks for me. And while playing it, I find that the yo-yo plays a little bit like the Shutter Evo, which I haven't reviewed yet, but it's coming. Be patient. Well, that's the review, but check out what we get into for next time. I apologize for leapfrogging over that plastic triple zero review, but it will be next, guaranteed. And we got a couple other options down the road. With a few surprises. Very nice surprises, actually. <laughs> Alrighty, kids. This has been the Yonami Code Yo-Yo Review by Rain City Skills. It will release in a couple of days, and I highly encourage you to jump on it because I'm having a lot of fun with this yo-yo. All right, y'all. I'm going to leave you guys with the raw footage of me um, enjoying it. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right? Peace.